What's up guys, Brett here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video today, I wanna to talk to you about goal setting because the truth of the matter is we work with a lot of clients and we always ask them the same question. What are you currently making and what is the goal to be making in your business? And once you do achieve that goal, what are some of the things that that's going to allow you to do? And what's the next step? What's the long-term vision? I'm a true believer that goal setting and planning to achieve these goals is an incredibly important thing. If you can't even articulate where you wanna go with your business, how the hell are you gonna get there, right? It, it, there's just no way. So what I wanna show you today is actually like what we do at our company, right? Because we are now at 46 employees. We're working with quite a few restaurants, as you can imagine. And we are always changing our product offering. We're always changing things internally to help our clients get better results. And with new advancements in technology, like AI and so many other things, as a marketing company, we're adapting to all these changes. And so it's very important for us to get clear on the specifics that we are approaching as a company, what the landscape looks like competitively, what we're focusing on internally, and what are the other things that we should be paying attention to if we wanna be successful and continue moving forward. Which means oftentimes our goals are reset. Oftentimes we might hit our goals faster than we think or slower than we think. And so we have to reset things and re-understand what is the goal and how are we gonna get there. So with that being said, guys, I wanna take you through this exercise today that we call the sailboat exercise. And essentially what it is, guys, is it's gonna help you get clear on number one, what your goals are. It's gonna help you understand the reasons behind them. And then it's gonna talk about what are the things that you should be focusing on to get there and what are the things that are potentially hurting your business from getting there. So with that being said, let's dive in. So what you're looking at on this screen here, guys, is the exercise that we're gonna wanna go through. Now you can create this graphic on a whiteboard. You can just basically draw an island and a sailboat with a line under it. I like to use this company called Miro, Miro.com. It's just a really incredible tool. But essentially, guys, what you wanna do is this sailboat is going to signify basically where you're at in some of the things that you're doing doing that are helping you get to your goals and some of the things that you might be doing or could be getting in the way from helping you achieve that goal. So first and foremost, let's label what we have here. And then the island, lastly, is obviously your goal. That's where you want to end up. Okay, so let's just write this out here real quick. So this is gonna be your goals, all right? Let's fold that. This is gonna be your drivers. And then lastly down here is you're gonna have, let's call it your barriers or detractors. So again, this is the goals that we're gonna come up with today. These are the drivers that are gonna help us achieve those goals. And then these are the barriers or detractors. Now in your business, for example, a lot of restaurants tell us that they wanna grow their sales, right? So what I would say first and foremost is getting specific on where your sales are that you want to go to. So let's just say a lot of our clients are working off, let's just say $150,000 a month in revenue. Okay. So they're at 150 and let's just say they want to get to 250. So we'll put 250,000 per month in sales. Next, let's just say another goal of theirs is they want to boost lunchtime business by 25%. One thing I'll note here too, guys, it's very important to get specific on the numbers. You can see it's a specific number. It's a specific number because a goal without a number is very difficult to track whether you actually achieve that or not, right? So being specific like that is great. And then maybe another goal is we want to launch catering and get eight catering deals per month. Great, cool. That's what you gotta do, right? And then maybe, ah, we'll just aim for that. Actually, we'll just do one more. And then let's just say you also want to launch private events and do four events per month, cool. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is what we call theme sorting. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna group ideas together. So this is basically a sales goal. And this is, I mean, they're all sales goals, right? But because these are two things, like the launch catering and the launch private events, because these, it requires like creating a new thing that's maybe like a high ticket, like this, these are both high tickets, we would group them together, okay? And basically this sorting situation here. And then these are kind of different, right? So that's one thing I would really recommend guys is sorting out your ideas and clumping them together. Now, let's talk about some things that might be drivers to achieve these goals. Some drivers to achieve this these goals might be hire a marketing agency, you know, hire a marketing agency to help us get to this. We're gonna reach more people in the area. Maybe it's raise our prices by 10%. Maybe in this case is we need to hiring a catering and event specialist. 
you know, think about this way, right? If you actually get these things going and you're actually producing a lot of business, hey, like if you wanna get eight catering deals a month and do four events, that's 12 new big deals a month, you probably wanna get someone who does this, right? Obviously, right? And let's say you also, if you wanna boost lunchtime business, maybe you need to launch three new lunch specials, right? Those things would help obviously. So now based on these things here, what would I say should be grouped together, right? So this is probably something it's new. It's launching something, launching a new special. These here, you see, these are hiring new people, hire a catering and events specialist, hire a marketing agency. And then this is raise our prices by 10%. So you can see this is in one category. These are kind of in another category. And then this is a third category. And so that's what's so important about these guys is remember, it's called theme sorting. So sort them out based on similarities. Now, what are some barriers or detractors that might be preventing us from achieving these goals? Let's talk about it. And by the way, again, this is, these are supposed to signify like the air pushing the sailboat towards the island, right? The drivers. And then the detractors is like, this is my uh, anchor. So anyway, just so you know, the visuals behind it. Okay. So let's talk about these real quick. Let's talk about barriers and detractors. So what things could be hurting you from getting to these goals? Okay. Well, let's just say, let's see what our goals. Boost lunchtime business things that could be hurting us for talent internally, right? Got to make sure you have the right team. Let's say tear about the economy. People are talking all the time about how the economy is getting so bad. Oh my God, what can we do there? If people don't want to go out and eat, right? These are detractors. These are going to hurt us, right? What else? Actually, sorry. You know what guys, now I think about this, this is probably not something we want to mention because it's out of your control. You'd like to say things that are within your control. Poor talent internally obviously is. You, you're deciding who to hire, but the economy, not something you can really control. I wouldn't want to put that there. Other detractors could be high job turnover, for sure. I hear this all the time in the restaurant space. A lot of people quitting. Job market can be tough. And then let's see. And those are going probably in the same category. And then what else could we put here? You could just put poor marketing too. The inability to reach people online. Obviously, we know online is such a powerful way to reach people today. Not having that though would really suck. Right, not having a way to reach customers online and bring them to your company. If you don't have that, that's something you're really missing. So you could see, by the way. So just look, just working off these now to start. Poor talent internally, high job turnover, and then poor marketing. So these are both about people in your company, and then this is maybe an external marketing company. So it'd be a different section here. And so ultimately, then guys, once you have these all set up, the goal is to now prioritize. Okay, so we got a couple goals here, right? Where do we want to put? first. What's the number one goal? Then we're looking at the drivers. What are the drivers that we feel like are going to help us now achieve that goal? And then detractors. Maybe you have already all of these things. Maybe you have high job turnover. Maybe you have poor talent internally, and maybe you have poor marketing in general. You want to prioritize what you're going to fix and here, what you're going to do. And then here, ultimately what goal you're going to achieve. So guys, I know it seems super simple and I'll be honest with you. Even when I created this the first time, you know, it does feel kind of corny with the Island and the sailboat and this and that, whatever. But I promise you these visuals really help a lot. What I would highly, highly recommend too, by the way, is you can try doing this alone on your own. But what I would even more encourage you to do so is do this with your team. Do this with your managers. Do this with your highest level employees. Not everyone, but your high level people. Do it with them because the kind of things you're gonna learn from your team about what they believe is important and what goals we're trying to hit, it helps them get on board, feel more connected to the company. And not to mention, they're gonna have really incredible ideas, really, really interesting things that you promise you've never thought about, but they know because they're in it every single day, they're seeing it every single day. And so with that being said, guys, if you have any questions at all about this, this up, obviously feel free to write below in the comments and otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.